What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Sweet It In Tear Christ. Let's enter Lugenic, home of the Oster folk. Welcome to Lug Lugenic, city of my people, the Oster folk. Wow, look at that. No one could survive that fall. You've got to have guts to live in a place like this. Falling from atop your castle wouldn't be much different now, would it? I don't know about that. That seems like a much bigger fall than the cast falling off the castle. And yet, your people still choose to live there. Well, I guess you can put it that way, but still. I mean, let's be honest, if you fall off that castle, you're going to die as well, but... I'd rather fall at the castle and maybe survive and instead of falling down in that valley and guaranteed to die. First we must speak with Chief Kashgar. Come with me. Kashgar? You got it. Let's see if we can go to the other places first. Okay, we could buy some items here. Might have to buy some more mega medicines. Had to use some of those in that last dungeon. Get some mints as well. They're pretty expensive though. I don't really know if I want to spend too much on those. I'll buy 15 of them. Got plenty of revival statues. Okay, nice. Got the trading post here. I guess the beastmen of Cragbark are tired of glow beads. You can you just can't sell them there anymore. Hmm, I thought you could sell glow beads for more here. I thought they could sell for a thousand. Well, I'm going to sell them here anyway, I think. And keep one of them. As for stuff that's good to sell here, uh... Glow beads are supposed to, supposed to be able to sell for more than 700. I'm not sure why they only 700 right now. Maybe because they could sell more in crack bark right now. That might be it. When you get that rumor about the crack bark and glow beads, you can t go to go to there and sell them for a thousand um, for each glow bead. So right off the bat, uh, rock salt sells for the most here, which not gonna be able to get a whole lot for that anyway, but. Better than nothing, right? Also, Janon Potatoes, which I bought way early on in the game. Finally sell those. <laughs> and a measly 7,800. 7, uh, the Cabbage sells for the most here. I've only got one of them, but Prismatic Peach sells for the most here as well. I'm not going to sell it because I only have one of it, but that sells for the most here. Uh, Demon Corn Ear sells for the most here as well, so we want to sell those. Uh, Peckler Meat sells for the most here, so we want to sell those as well. Got 20 of those, so that's going to be a good profit there. Also, dragon meat sells for the most here as well. So we'll sell the dragon meat. For a good profit as well. 
Silver ore sells for the most here. Sunlight stone sells for the most here. Giant bug shell sells for the most here. Eternal feather sells for the most here as well. Uh, you can get those from the Phoenix and um, on the mountain, but only in the outdoor portion of the mountain. There is certain parts of the mountain where you go outdoors and you can fight the phoenixes there. There's also an item called Death Skull that sells for the most here as well, but we don't have any Death Skulls. Or at least I don't have any. But if you have Death Skulls, you can sell those here as well. So what are we buying here? What is the cheap, cheap stuff to buy here? Well, Citro Tomatoes. You could buy pretty cheap here, which you're not going to get much profit off those anyway, but you might as well sell them, right? Iron ore, but you could buy that for the cheapest here. Uh, also uncut rubies, which you can farm those in the, on the mountain. You can get those pretty fast. Uh, so you probably already have a lot of those. Iris stones are the cheapest here. Also darkness stones, which I don't have, you can't buy, I can't buy any here, but darkness stones are very cheap here. But as you can tell, I don't, I can't buy them. Butterfly wings are the cheapest here, but... I don't know if I could buy those either. Not, oh yeah, I can. Those are cheapest here. Cotton cloth is cheapest here. Which I could not buy cotton cloth. I wonder if I should just buy these and just turn around and sell them. Maybe I can get cotton cloth to show up. If I sell the threads. Let me leave the trading post and go back in there. I don't know how that works exactly. Well, they haven't showed up yet. Maybe they'll show up later. Uh, but... Since we could buy cotton cloth, you could buy cotton cloth for its cheapest here. You can also buy large rubies and large sapphires here for cheapest as well, but we don't have access to that. Also, iris, iris lazuli is cheapest here too. And that is literally everything for uh, the trading in... Um, uh, The trading in um, Lugenic. So we got a pretty decent profit there. Wow, this stuff is ridiculously expensive. Demon Hammer, which I already have one equipped on him. Giant God Fist, 200,000. Uh, Just for one of those. Giant Sword. Crescent Axe Twin Psy. Battle Torch. Accessories usually aren't so bad. <clears throat> Armor is usually slightly less expensive as well. Silver Dragon. Sterling Armor. 
And then glided armor. I mean, you can make a lot of profit off trading and everything, so... I guess it's not too bad, right? Just go back and forth buying and selling and you can make a really good profit and you can do it infinitely too. Uh, you can only buy a certain amount of each trading good but you could buy that you buy max amount of it then you go to another area sell it and you can just go back and just keep going back and forth between the two areas and keep buying and selling that item so you can get like a lot of money really fast but I I'm, I don't really feel the need to do that right now I, I'm, I'll do that eventually and I'll get a lot of profit but not right now all right now that we're done with that let's head to the main street down on Main Street. Down on Main Street. Nah. Brave Vasloff, welcome back. Brave Vasloff, why do you bring humans along with you? Humans are hopeless. They forever seek to bend the world to their will. They are a race far removed from the principles that we Oster folk teach. Yep. And I want you to bend the knee to me, woman. I wonder, are the teachings of the Oster folk and the principles of the order truly so much alike? In truth, I think one only resembles the other. Perhaps it was a mistake to join with the order. Yep. Could have told you that. Upon the peak of Mount S Svetgul, one can behold a view of distant Sinus. The distance is such that individual buildings cannot be made out save for the Tower of the Way. Brave Vasloff, it is an honor to meet you. Uh, um, there was a rumor going around that you were defeated by a human. What? It is true? And it was that human there who did it? It's a lie. I'll not believe such a thing. Well, you don't have to believe it. It's true. Believe it. Alright, let's go to the chief's room. Vasloth the Brave, it's good to see you've returned. Chief Kashgar will be thrilled to see you. Thank you. Chief Kashgar, you have changed a bit. You haven't changed a bit, nor have you, brave Vasloth. What is it that brings you home so suddenly? Perhaps something to do with our guests? Yes, sir. My name is Razor. I'm head of Razor Go Company. Razor Go Company, isn't that group in opposition in opposition to the order of the one true way? That is correct. An enemy of the order is an enemy of ours. How can you keep such company, Vasloff? Chief Kashgar, please hear me out. I have some I've come back to get the tribe straight on a serious error. To follow the tribal re teachings of accepting the world as it is, one must break away from the order. It is the order of the one true way that is distorting the truth of our world, changing as they Please. How can this be? We want to shut them down once and for all. And we need your help. 
Tell me more. Do you really expect me to believe such a preposterous conspiracy theory as this? But we just told you those guys made the mage them vanish into thin air. I know nothing of this mage them you speak of. It is because they made you forget. They used the true chronicle to wipe its existence from your memory. This is why I must dismiss your words as nonsense. And to hear it from you, brave Vasilov, saddens me. Come on. What will it take to get the stubborn old guy to? Oh yeah. Didn't Zenoa tell me to bring something as a gift? I'll give him the chronicle. Hey chief, maybe this will help. Are you implying a book lends some proof to your story? I guess if you put it that way, yes. Well, what do you think? Is this some sort of joke? The pages of this book are completely empty. What? I guess this old chief was the wrong guy to show it to. I've had enough of your storytelling. Brave Vaslov, I command you to return to the order. Hey, hold on a second. Hold up a second. Commander of the Razor Kirk Army, normally I'd turn you into the order without a second thought. But since you've come as a guest of Brave Vaslov, I'll turn a blind eye. Now leave at once. Now wait a second, you. That's enough, Razor. No, it's not enough. Chief Kashgar, allow me to call on the Ancestor's judgment regarding this matter. Say what? Pointless. The Oster folk haven't heard any ancestral prophecies for many years now. That in itself is proof we are on the right track. I beg to differ. Let's go, Razor. Huh? Soldier of Razor Girl Company, in respect to Brave Vasilov, I will overlook this. Now be gone. Jeez, what's the deal with that guy? That old chief wasn't even a star bearer. And now what are we supposed to do? There's no reason to panic. The scribes are a conservative tribe. And I say the Oster folk, and I'd say the Oster folk are just as stubborn. But Chief Kashgar is especially stubborn, and I knew we'd never persuade him so easily. So what was that judgment thing you were talking about? It is sort of like a greeting. The real persuading starts from there. It was about your ancestors or something, right? Ancestor's judgment. In the depths of Lugenic lies an altar to Orduv Ordovic, said to be the Osterfolk's first ancestor. That's where the Ancestor's judgment is to be held. The depths of Lugenic? Lugenic? I'm not sure what you're talking about, but let's give it a shot. Okay, Ancestral Altar. Our Ancestral Altar to Ordovic lies to the end of this path. And what are we waiting for? Stop. One just came out of there. 
Their Oracle soldier is here to guard the altar. Huh? Brave Vasilov, I'm sure you know. Entry to the altar is prohibited. Without permission from our chief. I find it hard to believe he'd... Uh, sorry about that. He'd let you bring an outsider. But you do have per his permission, right? I haven't been given permission. What? But we're still going through. Brave Vasilov, have you lost your mind? Hope you understand we'll have to use force if necessary to keep you out. So be it. Razor, let's get this over with. Um, are you sure about this? These are warriors of the Oster folk. Don't insult them by pulling any punches. Well, I don't plan to. I'll take them out and then I'll toss them into the river somewhere. Alright. That's all I needed to hear. Don't underestimate us, human. Come on. <clears throat> it's boss time. Against. Oracle soldiers. And I got actually... Oh, I forgot to heal, man. I ain't never heard of going to the inn, apparently. Yeah, whatever. We'll be okay. Hopefully. Okay, well they do hit pretty hard. All things considered. Got to heal up some here. Hit, use some healing instances. Just so we don't die. If I would have healed at the end, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. But, oh well. Wow, he just sold for 500. It's messed up, bro. I like to put the other one to sleep if I can. Alright, that one's almost dead. Nope, guess you can't put him to sleep. Oh crap. Ow. Finish it, Vasloff. There we go, that one's down. Need someone to heal Vasilov here. Probably have this dude. Some mega medicine on him, I guess. I don't want him to die. There we go, we got him. Revival statue and mystic medicine for defeating that boss. But how? I always knew that brave Basilov was strong, but that human is amazing. Who are you? I'm Razor. 
Commander of the Razor Goat Company. What? Vasilov, how dare you bring an enemy to our sacred ground? You've got it all wrong, but explaining it to you now would be futile. What I'm doing is for the good of our tribe. Please try to understand that. Let's go, Razor. Right. Man, look at that huge face. That is our ancestral altar. Whoa. So what are you going to do here? Listen to the voice of Ordovic. Huh? Ordovic provides guidance by means of prophecy. His words have a major eff effect on the fate of the tri our tribe. Prophecy, are you serious? There are factual accounts of a voice heard here, although it rarely happens. Our, our ancient records document a multitude of witnesses who claim to have, actual heard, have actually heard a voice. But there is no way to confirm the voice is actually that of Ordovic. A lot of Oster folks sincerely believe the voice of, is his, though. What about you? Me? To be honest, I really don't know. But my tribe's allied with the Order without knowing the truth. But I... So I suspect it's about time for a voice. If we could only get something here... Our chief and the others might be more receptive to our story. Okay, let's give it a shot. Very well. Let's move a little closer to the altar. I don't hear a thing. Our records indicate that a voice was heard by some of the wit witnesses immediately after they entered. Wasn't that chief saying something about this place? Like they haven't had any prophecies for years or something? Yes, and he's right. It's generally thought no prophecies will come if our tribe is on the right track. But teaming up with the order can't be anything close to the right track. I can't argue with you there, but I'm still skeptical about this whole prophecy thing. Uh-oh. The False Chronicles. What's happening here? The Chronicle of Noble Steel it is glowing. I heard something. So did I. How long? How long I have waited. Bring the Chronicle. Bring it to me. This one? You mean the Chronicle of the Noble Steel? Maybe the one Zenoa was telling me to hand my gift to is this voice. Razor, take the Chronicle of Noble Steel to the altar. You got it. Whoa. At last. At long last, the time has come. What's going on here? It's like a spirit? It is... He is... He's here. I have finally received a physical form. How long it has been? I don't believe this. Are you our first ancestor? Are you Ordovic? Indeed. I'm called Ordovic. But I am no ancestor to you, or, or for, or nor any, or to, nor to any Oster folk. What? I fought alongside the Oster folk against the One King, but that was in another world. What the? I understand 
Now the Oster folk must have originally come here from another world. Indeed they did. Their world was destroyed by the One King and only a remnant of what it was was sent here. A portion of the Oster folk and I then become residents of this world. So the Chronicles of Noble Steel is originally that other world's book. Indeed it is. Now that you have brought it back, I have regained my physical form. You have my gratitude. I'm not sure what's going on, but this feels like some kind of day job boo, boo trip. Wait a second, you're just like she was. Just like Zenoa. Zenoa? So this Zenoa bears the seal of heaven? If this Zenoa is among our, your people, the descent of the one ki of the one king upon this world is perilously near. The one king. To think that the mighty Oster folk, once my allies against the one king, king should now work as his agents I offered my counsel each offered my counsel each time they arrived at a crossroads seeking to prevent such a tragedy sadly when the chronicle of noble steel was stolen they lost the ability to hear my voice so then in social judgment was actually your voice this book was in Grey Ridge, which means the orders things must have orders thugs must have taken it. So it was the order who took the ancestral's judgment from my people decades ago. For Suf. Ignorant of this, Chief Kashgar allows the one king agents to use his people as he pleases. Foolish Kashgar I shall open thine eyes to this tragedy. Alright, so he's going to go speak with Kashgar, I guess. Huh? What are you doing? We go to see Kashgar at once. All right. Man, that old chief is going to freak. Rodopic is now an ally. Oh, sweet. We got him as 108 stars of destiny. That's cool. Back for more? What's this? They have someone else with them. Don't be ridiculous. Vasloff and his guests are the only ones who went in. Stop. Who are you? I am Ordovic. What? That can't be Ordovic. Our ancestor? We'll explain later. Can it just can you just let us through? But but you please. I say we let them pass, but we can't. I sense this man is of the same nature as the altar. This can't be a trick. Maybe you're right. Thank you. Wonder if they'll join us too. Maybe. Who is that with Vasloff the Brave? He doesn't look like one of us. I recognize that face from somewhere. Yes, it is him. It is our ancestor, Ordovic. What? You must be joking. I'm sure, but I saw him when I was a young boy. Great. We stick out like a sore thumb. We don't want to cause an uproar. Let's get to the Chief's Palace at once. Indeed. Well, we'll go to the Chief's Palace in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.